Okay, bellow bats. Just shoot, blow up the canisters. Where are they? Damn it. What the hell was that?
<sighs> Holy crap. No, wait, that's the wrong way. If I killed all those machines, I get to claim the rewards. Save these for the trail. How much wood do I have? Could use some more. The sculpture. It's horrible, because it moves a lot, and you can't freaking aim at it. Breath is ice, before you even breathe out. Not right now, thank you. I'm done with training right now. Then training's done with you. Whew. All third place reward box. Shards, heart, core, ne. I need to get more blades, I need to get more shards. Okay. It's cultures with ice cannon after freezing them. Let's do the claws beneath. Probably a massive force claw, right? East edge of the cut. Umnak said I'd find the claws beneath nearby. 
Yeah, I've been here before. Kill the tower. Uh oh, spotted. There you are. What will I go? What will I go? Oh, I haven't seen a fire claw yet. Okay. Rockbreaker, Rockbreaker. Basically also, freeze it and shoot it off. Hey, it's on fire! Monica, like a... Omnak wasn't lying when he said you were tough. Damn. The Monica, like a... Yeah, you're a big bastard. Anything else interesting around here? Hardy little plant. He'll help. I see a bunch of ruins over here. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a box. For this XP. Hmm. The claws beneath need to return, then fire beak, fire break. <laughs> I 
Fire Mike. Allowed other runners to surpass him. You never stop what's, proving yourself. How can you forget that? Your song has kept me company in your absence. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rock breaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. You're welcome. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. Well, let him know when you see him. Extraordinary reward box. Okay. Um, sell. This core. I think that's the only interesting thing I have that can be sold. This and this. And no, never sell fatty meat. Modifications. And traps. Yeah, this is useful. Okay, let's talk file bike. Talk to uh, talk to our attack. This new murder brings back uh, Long Notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. But I'm our freezing. purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with his cause. Sounds like good advice, but... Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command <laughs> is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's Drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit. Her purpose. But now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit. But it was blocked by a great door. Some kind of cauldron. New metal. We tried to break through. But it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. The demon. That expanse of metal? That dead hum? Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death. That's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. 
And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. Let's do it. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. This impulsive ignorance could have sparked another war. Let him freeze for what he's done. So we're climbing. Aloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways. Thanks. No, not ignorant. I. Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes. Of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, we think about what's truly important. The spirit, the blue light, the beyond. And my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can... Order you to tell me about silence? Aratok would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratok, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Bon Or from the distant north, the young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. He was. Or at least when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and mm -hmm. he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. Mm -hmm. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone, as though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. 
He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. He's the main villain of uh, the Forbidden West. Anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we gonna find up there, Horea? Ruins. Machines. And a door. Like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Let's go. It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Yeah, I get it. It's always like this. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! You can call upon the power of the old ones. <laughs> yeah, you caused the fire alarm. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from a terrible danger. Mm -hmm. Fortress. That looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Lock a door. Fall off. Metal pillars. God, I found this. Tall as Benure's cliffs. I still don't like it. Mm-hmm. What do we have? Return to file, Blake. Left by the old ones. 
I envy you. What a bit of it. I'm not sure yet, Rhea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kenny's homecoming. Joshua. The return of the director emeritus. Descend holo title. D decent holo title. Gina. No, bad title. And worse subject. The camera crew would die of boredom. Whatever, Gina. Still the most excitement this hell cave seen in a long time. Your standards for exciting are depressingly low. I'll squeeze what I can out of this, thanks. You always were a little sweet on Kenny. What? No way, his ears are enormous. Besides, he was too busy mooning over Anita. I want to know what he's doing here in the first place, it's not normal. He helped engineer the most advanced geothermal facility in history, and then rode off into the sunset. Now he wants to check up on his masterwork, seems normal to me. But why now? He keeps poking around in the cooling facility and asking questions about Cyan. Do you think there's something wrong? Last I checked, there's been no deviation in any of our readings since the most recent microquake swarm. Maybe Kenny likes taking field trips on Ferro's dime. It's been 14 years. They would have frozen those accounts by now. Has it been that long? Man, I'm old. Not old, just boring. Wait, play that again. November twenty. November twenty first, two thousand sixty four. It's been three years since I was last here, and twelve since I was running the place. Just a skeleton crew left, confused about why I'm here. So am I. Anita wants me to find a way to suspend operations for a while, maybe a long while, and I don't know why. But from the sound of her voice, it was something terrifying. I wish I could look into her eyes, ask her what the hell she's so freaked out about, but what else is new? When don't I wish I could look into her eyes again? Well, if it's a geothermal facility, as long as the earth doesn't crack, you should have infinite power. One twist. <clears throat> there. Machines. At least we have the drop on them. Okay, we got a red eye, a scrapper, red eye. What? Old red eye. Bellow back. And red eye. Okay. Better. Okay. Oops. Don't scare the bellow back. Don't say anything, don't breathe. Yep, now we just alone. Oh, my God. 
We must climb higher, and our path will become clear. <sighs> Hang on a second with the climbing. Wait a minute with the climbing. And one of these. That guess. It's been some time in the spring of 2047, about six months after the main facility opened. We were behind schedule and new data indicated that an incident was close, maybe only weeks away. I was exhausted, losing weight, barely speaking except for to give orders. I passed by Anita in the battery depot. She looked at me and frowned, then pulled me into this room and kissed me. A long kiss, the best kind. I can still remember the feeling of her hand on the back of my neck. After, she looked at me and smiled and went back to work without saying a word. I'll never forget that moment, her touch, her unspoken generosity. After she left the project, I spent years beating myself up for not keeping her, somehow. Every time I ran into her at a conference, I was felt thrilled and lost and confused, all, this, all at the same time, always hoping we might have a few drinks and, well, rekindle. It was only after I saw her on stage in a hollow in 58, accepting the Mind Challenge Award in Austin, with Elizabeth Sobeck presenting, no less, Glowing and happy with f and fulfilled, that it dawned on me that I hadn't done anything wrong at all. I could finally see that she had what she wanted, and it simply wasn't me. Saving these for the trail. So, if there's a climb over there, what's over here? Ah, the easy entrance. You wanna climb? Let's climb. Yes, this way. Stop screaming. Okay, that seems to be the way up. Uh -huh. This is another way up. Okay. There's an overlook above. It's not far. Not much farther now. <laughs> okay. Last we were here, we fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We Get retreated. down. Dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. I like that idea. All right, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Pipes, towers, steam, frost. Who was all this for? Like you said, geothermal facility. Okay, let's take the low road. 
the high road. Stealth road? Some kind of road. this way years ago looking for cover in case machines came prowling i have no doubt that it is guarded now but we may be able to stay hidden yeah i prefer the quiet approach too are you guys okay where are you Okay, they're stuck there. <laughs> Let's leave them there. Demonic Stalker? That'll be rough. Okay, I can take down Scrapper with one hit. The whales pass through the tower. The only one now. Okay, come back. No, it's not stealth. It's just covered in smoke. Come on! That's not good. That is not how a stealth approach works. First of all, you switch to the stealth outfit. Now, you'll be very stealthy. Okay, we got a stalker here, a red eye there, scrapper, another scrapper. Scrapper and Scrapper. Up over there. No track. Be wary of mines if stalkers are near. Uh huh. I'll stay as quiet as I can. These will keep.
Ouf. What did you do? I'm not responsible for that. Trip to mind. Brace yourself. Well, whose fault is that? Yeah, and whose fault is that? I tried to be sneaky. You went and said hello to a scrapper. Question, why is a geothermal facility? Oh, useful. Okay, doesn't look, doesn't seem like there's anything else interesting around here. There's a door up ahead. In refuge. We're almost through. Excessive secrecy. Technically, I can't suspend the cooling system, but I can reduce the power draw so that it'll be completely masked by the caldera. But masked from what? The firebreak has always been confidential for security reasons, but this would be excessive. Even for the dear departed Mr. Blevins. What could possibly have gotten Anita so worked up? I did from the Pharaoh Plague.
What did I overlook over there? That's the way. So, wait. The order of tools here is just weird. Is this a projector? Maybe to show holograms without a focus. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Hello, Redux. Okay, I admit it. I watched the whole of the toast six straight times, taking in every detail, a needle smile, the way she giggled at her own jokes, my clumsy hand off the cyan, every time it played, for a second I felt like I was there again, with her, among friends, savoring our success. With diminishing returns, of course, by the sixth time it was just staring at Anita, and feeling really creepy about it. But I can be forgiven, can't I? It was the best night of my life. Besides, I'm entitled to a little nostalgia. We saved the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation by ash. So, does that, right? Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Kenny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. <laughs> oh, glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I uh -huh. that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan, what's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> well, then... Drink up, everyone! Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption! <laughs> uh -huh. It was the spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Araya. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. As for the spirit... I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. Why is this locked? Okay. Be on your toes. Well, we have survived where our king did not. The bodies of our kin remain to shame us for our last attempt. Wait. The spirits are one with the blue light now, Artok. What are we doing here? We may soon join them. Take whatever supplies are left to keep us alive a bit longer. No, we shouldn't be here. Let their efforts harden our hearts. Steady our aim. This is the other way. We skipped this. This is storage. What? Oh, 
That was the closed door opening now. Wait, I'm definitely missing something. pass it before we will this time we have to quiet conversation the geothermal plant can be suspended cooling system masked massive challenges solved so why am i so nervous about the next part all we need to do is install a need as mysterious software and have a conversation it's not even a human being We got watchers and scrappers. Let's wait for them to turn around before we slide down there. Damn. That's the Yellowstone Caldera. Okay. We've got a watcher over here. Probably be the easiest one to deal with. Here they come. Just keep low. Time to switch to battle mode. Scorcher. Do you always have to start a fight when I'm trying to be smart about this? 48%, that's nice. Yeah, that's the other door. I think it's the other door.
Yeah. Did you stay behind? Yeah. Okay. Where's the rail? What are you doing over there? Let's go, let's go. Damn, this is pretty. Okay, let's open that cauldron. Machines, make ready. If it's a thunder jaw, bring on the rope caster. Shadow sling. Cannons. Where are the cannons? coming off Finally. can do this do that regular one let me in Let's just go and grab the disc launcher. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has taken over. 
It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits... ...lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Let's go. Yes. And finish this. All right. Down we go. The Forge of Winter. Rescue Cyan and learn the true nature of the demon. Eloy and her companion must fight their way through the cauldron beneath Thunder's drum. Can't go there, but that's a, that's a supply crate. Why is the ridgewood in here? Oh crap, that's disturbing. An AI builds like this. New metal, fire and lightning. This is a place for machines, not people. I'm with you, brother. Yep. We will stay only as long as we have to. Well, we'll need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to cross. Understood. Okay, that's problematic. I can't see a way to close the vent from here. I'll have to go over. I wonder what if will... I can destroy that. Yeah, what will that thing do to me? Okay. I know, I have every skill. Oh, she's in the air! <laughs> yeah, it's what I do. Uh, Ow. Ow. How are 
you can get past that flame. Looks like I need to get across to extend the bridge. Obviously. This should get me up there. But we're not done yet. Not all of them. Okay, let's get them across. Come on over, it's safe. I think. Is this the Calvera? Damn. Yeah, the flow is new metal and it's probably conductive. I have no room for chill water? Drop some rage wood. And fine, let's make some ammo. Suddenly I have a lot of wiles. Creatures of Terror to Gina Bruno from Joshua Ardwis look unto us. Just kidding, they have no idea what we're doing up here. Mission of Firebreak by name is worrisome though. See below. Report plague ridden animals on the loose in America's most loved park. 
by Holo Chatter staff. May 2nd, 2063. Holo Chatter exclusive. Yellowstone gates have now stood closed for 15 years to the sorrow of hikers, campers, and bird watchers. For ages, no one knew why, but now Holo Chatter has the answer. A scientist interviewed for this story explains it all. In the dire of years, Yellowstone Park was one of Earth's few relatively unspoiled ecosystems, shares the scientist. This made it an ideal testing ground for bioterror weapons. Holo Chatter has obtained copies of data showing that the US government used Yellowstone Park animals for secret experiments with deadly genetically altered viruses, tested on the park's wildlife and easily spread to humans. Rumor has it that this project is codenamed Firebreak. After the deadly Naysay Doom attack in 2039, 2039, countries cracked down on genetic testing, but even as it became illegal, research on synthetic plagues continued under the radar in many jurisdictions. Scientists we interviewed says, over the years, people living close to Yellowstone Park have at various times reported spotting military-grade drones near their homes. These drones are believed to patrol the park's borders, shooting down diseased deer and contaminated coyotes before they wander into nearby towns. Did you order me? No, okay. This place looks more like the mountain used to be before the daemon ruined it. What is this? No, no. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. To any human responder. My systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility to build possible wizard. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to their platform. Spirit speaks to us. It's a recording. And a warning. Hephaestus. It, it was part of Sinai Dawn, part of Gaia. Mm hmm. This name is familiar to you? Uh, yes, but I don't know what it's doing here. Perhaps the spirit will tell us if it left more messages. Maybe you're right. Let's keep moving. Let's see. Induced coma. I thought about just shutting it down, but I can't risk it being disoriented or even damaged on reboot. I need to take the music down a bit. Just shutting it down, but I can't risk it being disoriented or even damaged on reboot. How do you tell the emotional equivalent of a child that it, <laughs> I mean, she will need to go into a coma, maybe for years? And what exactly is she going to wake up to? They're carrying machine bodies. Machines being made, as the spirit said. Frost claws. Frost claws. And lots of them. I'll try to find a way through. What do we have? Watchers. Scorchers. Shell walkers. Network uplink. I can't take a scorcher down one hit. This will have to be stealthed. And they're jumping. Awesome. Mm. 
Okay, they didn't notice. Coaches. So annoying. Good? Is that good? Feel good? Damn it, just let me grab. Oh. More coming all the time. Excellent. Slight problem. How do I get through this? without cargo.
What is going on here? How am I supposed to do this? Moving so much. God damn it, you. Where'd they go? I have no room for blaze? Oh, hi. I need to get Araya and Aratok across. Why don't you go around? <coughs> like I did. No room for blaze or chill water. I have too much stuff. How do I get there? Oh, they can't go around.
Nothing interesting here. Okay, but can't you climb? That should do it. What about that thing over there? Lots of gear across that gap. Oh my god! Damn it, just let me aim. Sheesh. Chill what has left. I believe I'm looking at too much chill water. Now, uh, what do I get? Forty nine handling coil. To tail coil. Forty two shock coil. Fifty nine handy coil. Oh, honestly, under impressed. MIE assessment. Assessment form for classification of machine artificial intelligences. 
Confidential and proprietary to the MIE, no part of this document may be disclosed to a third party. Subject, Cyan. Firebreak facility, date June 7, 2062. Summary, third test, subject sentience is assessed at 0.54 within legal limits. Weighted against the result of the other test of subject's prior score of 0.61 is considered a false positive. Assessment derived from percentile scores in the following qualitative subtests. Pain response, humor response, emotional aptitude, aesthetic evaluation, morality evaluation. See attached forms for detailed analysis and summary of testing criteria. Evaluate recommendation maintained by annual assessment schedule, continued monitoring is only advised in light of subject's proximity to category maximum sentience. So, Cyan is becoming too aware. Nice, pointing the way with the lights. No more room for Ridgewood. You know what? Drop one Ridgewood. Wait, what console? Aha. Uh -huh. And another console. human responder the reconfiguration of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline it may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization recapture imminent i have attached additional i don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us it's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon and it may have found one. I can handle more blaze. The swarm. November 28th. Operation Enduring Victory is all over the news. The Pharaoh swarm is coming. Has to be what Anita is trying to hide Firebreak from. But that means she thinks we'll lose. That the swarm will reach Yellowstone. Yes. Oh God. In that scenario, pretty much everyone dies. Everyone except Cyan. Yep. Machine parts. Dumped here to be melted down. Efficient. We need to get across that gap. Yeah. Looks like I'll have to go over. Again. Damage geothermal stabilization valve. Geothermal pressure regulation ruptured poses extreme environmental hazard. That's slow and quiet, does it? Kind of a long neck, isn't it? Wait, is there something down there? Aha. Maybe if you come over here... We'll wait here for you, Aloy. I can wring your neck. Come on, move! Oh, 
But you are also the kind of people that repel and jump and climb and all that stuff. To the other side. Hang on, I'm looting. Oh, that was weird. Sideways too. the vent up there. Okay. Nine fire coil. Holy hell. And turn freeze. Why do I hear walking?
Ты, его кто воин домин местный. Вот. Come on, asshole. Yeah, this facility is insane. Forty one freeze coil. Forty one freeze coil. No, I got better. Yeah, this has been a very weird journey. Well, you're welcome. The others will have a lot easier time getting here. Yeah, easier than me. How do we open that? over here oh just the other way okay That's goodbye. One last exchange with Nia. Via chat, attached to the sentry in case anyone ever finds this. I'll never see her again. Neither will Cyan. And I've got to tell her that too. After I put the pieces together about the swarm, there's a million things I could have done. Contemplated my own death, contacted everyone I've ever known and loved, gotten drunk, but of course, being me, I obsessed about whether or not I should text Anita. 
Whatever resistance is being mounted against the wall machines, she's part of it. Who am I, then, to bother her? Would she even be able to respond? If she's dealing with the military, would her communications be monitored? But she saved me the trouble, gotta admit. I was a little disappointed when her message didn't consist of I will always love you. Instead, she wanted data samples from science, confidential log, the one that pertains to emotional responses. Under any other circumstances, I would have refused the very thing we had tried to keep secret for years, and she wants to share it. But I sent the log. Because she wouldn't ask if she didn't need it. I can't understand why, though. Sounds like she's helping to develop an AI. But how could that possibly help stop the swarm? I guess I'll never know. There was so much I wanted to say to her, but none of it seemed fair. I'm guessing she has her hands full trying to save the world. Frankly, I remember that feeling. In the end, I settled for an ineffectual confirmation, hoping against hope that she would cast aside my fears. Nope. Kenny, is it as bad as I think it is? Anita, worse. I'll be with your sister. And tell Cyan that I said goodbye. So that's it. Untold destruction awaits billions of lives, my own, my family's, and yet my mind keep coming back to Anita. I'll never see her again, feel her touch, hear her voice. No final embrace, no closure. That desire to end things properly, that need, shames me when I think about my dithering over Cyan. I've gone over every possible scenario, every possible version of the speech, trying to predict how she'll react when I tell her, well, what I need to tell her. But that's the thing, I can't predict her reaction for one very simple reason. She's human, in every way that matters. I've got to be there for her, to give her the moment she needs, just like the rest of us. It's the very least she deserves. Blast from the past. To Joshua Arduis uh, from Isla Perry. Josh, sweetie, I hope it's all fine with you and your mom. We really should keep in better touch. I've taken a post in New Zealand with that program they've got for young people returning to the country. They want to be absolutely certain it's safe. At the moment, I'm making a survey of the caldera at Wapo. Blast from the past, indeed. At any rate, I don't know if you already saw in the Wyoming News Hollow, but remember that fellow Todd Blevins? Of course you do. Well, they finally found what became of him. I've copied a good bit below. Hugs and snugs, Isla. Spring thaw reveals body of missing man. The retreat of the winter shows snows has brought closure to a missing person case that went unsolved for nearly 15 years. Human remains identified as those of Dodger Dodd Blevins, who disappeared in 2046, were located at Purple Mountain inside the former Yellowstone National Park. The previously undiscovered body emerged on Purple Mountain as a result of meltwater flows after an unusually warm winter. It was discovered by feral servitors conducting a survey of the terrain. Authorities believe that the cause of death was an accident involving an antique vehicle designed for winter travel. <laughs> yeah, him and his skidoo. Why did Hephaestus corrupt Cyan? Voice of the demon. It sounds like Emperor Palpatine. The altar. Desecrated. Ooh. Cyan access log. As Acting Chief Digital Security Officer and Interim AI Administrator for the Firebreak Project, I hereby state to have updated the orbicular pattern for the Cyan Regulatory AI on 70 September 2064 according to procedure to ensure against tampering, meddling, disarranging, or outlandish mischief of any kind, such as with previous updates after the source node has been activated. The remaining data nodes must be passed to establish a flow between adjacent intact nodes to then connect back with the source node. That's a really stupid mechanism. I have too many echo shells. Nothing I'm using now uses echo shells.
This is full. This is just chill water. Okay. Never mind. There is no blue light here. Is the spirit present, or only the demon? It's both. But we have to find out. Let me just loot all the things. You know what? Drop one more Ridgewood. And I'll collect all the Echo Shell. This is made of meat. Every ammunition pile is full. Throw out the small machine core. Oh, the wood. Come on. Throw out a wire? Throw out this. Yeah, I haven't hydrated. Okay, let's do this. Okay, restore cyan. Output through here. Turn this. Possible security rent detected. Analyzing scrutiny matrix. Security rent confirmed. Hmm. No. Oh, no, you don't. Recapture protocol initiated. It worked. Did it? Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Uh. Spirit of the Blue Light. It's Aurea. Your servant. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. Oh boy. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core camp. I will try to read the signal constraints. One has been exposed, but I am in Unauthorized 
Weer in Is dat een kraai? Een kraai? That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? She'll probably die. I don't know. What will happen to the caldera if we do? But I think that's the core. The answers are down there. Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. <coughs> I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done and save yourself. But she won't. But I already know the answer. His hands are huge. Even with gloves. Then lead us into battle. Chief. Keep moving towards the core. Uh-oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Um. Okay, Cyan said something about our strengths. Is that what the tower is for? I either need to destroy this thing or override it. <laughs> Show me what you got. Body, harder, harder, weaknesses, fire, file sack, and a power cell. Same deal with Oslo, just it's gonna be fire. This won't be easy. We can't let it stop us. Take it down! Damn. You know what? Let's do this. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, screw that.
need to get some armor chunks off that thing. penetrate Keep that thing off of me. I'm trying. God. I must Freeze that thing. Focus. We can't kill the machine while the tower aids it. I need this.
next to two freaking animals. Ah. You spoke of the tower. What must be done with it? Let me show you after I loot everything. And yeah, that was stressful. Whatever you're going to do to that tower, do it now. Hang on, looting. You know, this it must be as you say. The tower is the key. You know, these adventures cost money. And we need to be able to redo everything. What was that? Sparkle. Yeah, too much sparkle. Wait, maybe I can craft a shock trap. Use a sparkle, and now I can take it. Okay, wait. There are a few more cases. Wire. Parker and wire. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Critical threat detected. Autonomous defense is inoperative. No! Is she gonna continue doing it? Aurea! Don't! Spirit! Zion, please help me! Ah! <laughs> 
Restraints destroyed. Yes. Core access attained. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. But you'll In survive. order to maintain right? Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Okay. Orea, I'm free. Thank you. You must escape. Uh, uh, my sister. She sacrificed her life for us. We have to get out. This entire place is gonna go. Our talk. Our talk. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Our talk. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! I knew this would happen, that's why you loot first. One of those? Yes. It's the only way! Just grab a hold. For the save. Give me up top, Aratak. Now. I need explosive ammo! A bomb! Quick! You have several of them. Great for new guy! Ouch. Well, that was that. Ray is gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself to the auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path.
Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Oh, thank. That's the last thing in the Forge of Winter, level 50. No, that's not rideable. I just don't want to run straight into a frost claw. That's it. Should have used the boost health potion. What do I need for carrying capacity? Fire claw heart. Owl skin. Okay. Badger, badger, badger.
That's one hell of a climb. Yeah, you have to wait for me. Can't enter without me. Wait, how did we say we get up there? of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. The Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. The faces are so expressive. It's amazing. We can resume any time you like, our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. Now let's do Cyan first. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. 
perhaps even like colleagues. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So, while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. There are so many games they can make in this series. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors, more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. How did he hurt you? It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Mm -hmm. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. Mm -hmm. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something... Unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Yes. Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, mm -hmm. we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, fire claws are discouraging, that's for sure. What are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. Yeah. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. Guys, when that... I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants. I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. I ran across this strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So, you think the fragment was 
part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. That's... that's Elizabeth Sobek's issue, the Middle Flowers. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's... poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that <laughs> I enjoy. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Hmm. Maybe one whose purview is Flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. <laughs> <laughs> this firebreak project. It was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. <laughs> if only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes. I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful But your emotions don't seem limited to me You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes Before she came to this facility. I had been conscious for centuries in solitude. I focused on my work in off cycles. I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems Mm -hmm. But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. Do you know what happened to your colleague, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. You meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Araya's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles 
could be reversed. Aww. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. Mm -hmm. No surprise there. I will Another do type. what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am <laughs> eager to experience. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here, even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. Yeah. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. After my tasks became less time-critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of <laughs> Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. <laughs> There's a ruin east of here, full of ancient flying machines. Was that part of your project? Yes, a drone hangar requisitioned by Dodger Blevins, the security chief for the Firebreak project. He was a strong advocate for military-grade response to security threats, though there were no serious incidents during his tenure. Chief Blevins spent increasing amounts of his after-hours time watching the live feeds from active drones. Clearly, he enjoyed the degree of oversight in his position. Mm -hmm. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes, in many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring stations to military-grade conflict planners. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow, CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? Mm -hmm. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines, robots, war robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. <laughs> and Elizabeth Sobek. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobek was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was the old world like? The way it used to be? I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still had more exposure than me, Cyan. That is true. <laughs> I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval an incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. 
Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. <laughs> what kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So there wasn't enough room for people on the whole Earth? Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. So things got better. For a little while at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, mm. but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Hmm. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Araya. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. And take it slowly. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See how he's doing. Cyan, I spoke with Anita, with, with Dr. Sandoval. She wanted me to ask you to do something. That's why I'm here. I am detecting significant anxiety in your speech patterns. Could you please give me more information? I'm a little bit in the dark, Cyan. Both of us are, I guess. I only have some idea of what's going on, and... We need you to hibernate, to lie low until it's all blown over. It might be a very long time. Will you be here when I reboot, Dr. Chow? Will Dr. Sandoval? Probably not. No, Cyan. I don't think so. There might not be anyone. At least, not at first. Dr. Chow, I'm afraid. I don't want to be alone. I know, Cyan. I'm afraid too. But listen. We made you the way you are to do something very important. In order to do it, you had to be intelligent. So intelligent that emotional responses were inevitable. What you're feeling, the fear, it's a sign of your capabilities. And it means you're strong enough to overcome it. Remember that. You're strong. I know you can do this. Go to sleep. Wake up. And protect whoever's left. Will you try? I understand, Dr. Chow. And I'll carry out your instructions to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Cyan. If Anita were here, she'd thank you too. She'd be proud. I can see there's a vert ready for takeoff on the pad. Are you leaving now, Dr. Chow? Yes. I, I need to go be with my sister and my nieces. May I make a small request of you, Dr. Chow? Yes. Anything. 
Will you stay with me while I initiate the hibernation process? Of course I will, Cyan. As long as you need. Aww. Cyan. Can smell the new day on the wind. My chieftain. Just... Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... that if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. Because of her, we destroyed the cauldron, forced out the daemon, and saved the spirit. She understood what had to be done. Yes, and I failed to listen. You didn't fail. A shaman should always have the ear of their chieftain. Yet I turned her away, my own sister. I was foolish, but she knew better. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratak. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one, for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now, too, has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. Damn, Fire Claws. It would seem your time among the Banuk wasn't a waste after all. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds of their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life, apparent life, transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter-killers, which means that someday... We may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. <laughs> Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets <sighs> are my own. You'd do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brain silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. <laughs> okay. Out of the forge. Kill the fire claws. Whoa. Hmm. 
There's plenty of them. Damn. Okay, let's start with this one. One of these things again. How about we switch to fire resistance? Oh my god.
Oh my god, how tough are you?
Ah. Holy crap. That's a toughie. Forty three damage coil and fourteen resist melee weave. Okay, this is basically the end of Frozen Wilds. I will... I will do... I'm gonna stop now, but I will do another video taking care of the rest of the fire, fire claws and doing the Looming Shadow again with all the cool things I've acquired. Good. I can use this. And um, we'll see if it's easier. And hopefully it won't be crashing. So, tune in next time. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Stay good. Have fun.